website to protect the locals. Mm, it's a it's a shark joke. Ooh, an opportunity to talk about sharks because I love sharks. They're amazing. So sharks are very, very important in all of the ocean ecosystems where they live. They're what is known as an indicator species, which basically tells how healthy an ocean, or not specifically an ocean, an ecosystem is. And sharks are a very good indicator species. So if there's a large and healthy population of sharks, that means that the ocean ecosystem that they're found in is doing very well. Additionally, sharks, as well as all large predators in any ecosystem, have a very important function in maintaining the ecosystem health due to the fact that they help control the populations of their prey species. This was kind of a issue a little bit ago at some fisheries. I can't remember what specifically anymore. I might have talked about this previously, but there was a big decline in shark species around a couple specific fisheries, and that allowed an increase in, again, I can't remember what species, but it was a prey species that sharks liked to eat. Since there was no sharks, that prey species was just going crazy, and that was causing a lot of problems about the fish fisheries and specifically oyster farms, that's the word. Since there was no sharks eating their prey species, all of the prey species was eating the oysters and the fish that the fisheries were growing, and that caused a lot of problems. So, by having sharks around, it helps balance the ecosystem out so there's not too many prey species causing big problems in the ecosystem. Same effect as wolves in Yellowstone. This also means that sharks are a keystone species, that without having the sharks, the entire ecosystem is going to collapse in a very big way, in a more dramatic way possible than could have been predicted because sharks are that important. Again, same thing with wolves in Yellowstone and a bunch of other things. In addition, shark attacks are way, way more rare than people think. Um, the average throughout, like, the world is around 70 shark attacks with only, like, less than 10. Like, average about 5 or 6 of those being fatal. And a lot of the times it's because the attack was either accidental, with the shark mistaking a human for a prey animal such as a seal, out of curiosity, with the shark being like, hmm, what are you? Better test to see if it's food than being like, hmm, no food, actually goodbye. Or if it was provoked by humans being in the shark's personal space and the shark being like, hmm, no thank you. Most of the shark attacks that happen are provoked and there's very, very few just unprovoked out of the blue shark attacks. And again, even if that happens, it's very unlikely to be fatal, with especially if you get out of the water promptly or you're rescued, and then you get good prompt medical attention, you're most likely not going to die from a shark attack. So people really are afraid of sharks a lot with no good reason. Like, obviously, don't go up and, like, pet a shark because, like, oh, it's not going to attack me, it's perfectly safe. Don't be stupid around sharks. Don't be dumb when you're with a shark. It's just they're not nearly as dangerous as people think. And as a final point, you are not an aquatic animal. There is really, other than just for fun, there's really no reason for you to be in the water. You are not an aquatic animal. Sharks are aquatic animals. They're supposed to be there. Sharks do not infest water, they live there. That is their home, you're a visitor there, and then you get mad when the shark is like, hey, what are we doing? Because you're not supposed to be there. They are. You are not evolved and adapted to be an ocean-dwelling creature. So maybe leave the sharks alone. Like, it's not their fault that you are in their house. So again, sharks do not infest water. They live there.